Hello and welcome to Tales from the Tavern, the Sea of Thieves official podcast. I'm joined by this motley crew and most of us have just come back from Gamescom and we're obviously all excited to be here. Um, we have had some videos over the previous weeks uh, talking over some of the things we've discussed at Gamescom, such as an inside story on crossplay, a PC update from uh, Ted and Ian, and we had the behind the scenes on gunplay, and you've just very recently seen a new dev gameplay um, called the Pirate Olympics. Um, so, just a reminder as well, if you haven't already signed up for the Insider program, it's seeathieves.com forward slash insider to become part of our, uh, a chance to have, uh, oh my god, I'm choking, part of the technical <laughs> alpha. <laughs> it's that good. No, he, <laughs> said, sign up. he said it so many times. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm talking really fast for some reason. Uh, seeathieves.com forward slash insider to be part of our technical alpha if you're interested in help shape the game. Um, and obviously, if you are listening to us, you can go and watch us in glorious 4K on YouTube and see all these pretty faces and our amazing towel that we have from our loot crate in the middle oh. of the table. Smells. <laughs> Pause for a little bit stale. <laughs> but uh, apart from that, like... hang on. Is this one fresh out of the packet or is this a used one? That's straight out of the packet. Okay. Straight up back it. John's been using it throughout games. Throughout games. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> As I'm It's far away. Uh, we did ask if pirates used towels a few podcasts ago. Now we know. Yeah, that was a strange one, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah. One of the highlights, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the last look podcast. Years, years yeah. Years yeah. Come, yeah. Be there. yeah, that'll be the top one. No, no they, they air dry, surely. Did we find out yeah, an answer to that? Uh, I didn't Google it, no. Leave it in the comments if you looked it up. Well, should anyway. we introduce ourselves for the people who don't know who's yes, speaking right uh, now? Yes, Joe Neat, executive producer. I'm Mike Chapman, design director. Jeremy McFarlane, community video manager. Emma Bridal, engagement manager. Ted Timmins, PC design lead. Woo! Um, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> the, the energy is very up and down. Yeah. Community spotlight I've got written here, and usually this is where I talk to you and... You tell me all the exciting things that have been happening. We've had three of our deck cans in studio in the last month, month and a bit. So unfortunately I didn't meet Aaron when he was here, but he came by and he had 3D printed and I believe painted a Sea of Thieves coin for every Everywhere. single person in the studio. Amazing. I remember seeing how many months it's taken him, but he made, I think, 200. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. And brought That's them in good. a box that he'd made as well. With a little message yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, would have, you would have thought he'd made just one. They were that beautifully made, weren't they? Yeah. They looked awesome. Really, they really nice. You could still smell the paint on them as well. Like, it had been, <laughs> it had been a lot, a, like just a late night. night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, all the way from New Zealand. Tasmania, Tasmania, I right, okay. But, like, him and, and a couple of friends came to the mm -hmm. studio, right? And, like, Loads of our team came down to meet them in the uh, lobby and stuff, mm. good to hand out the kind of gifts and stuff. Amazing, right? That dedication, like, to obviously it was part of his trip around Europe. I think the first time he's left. I think he's um, in France at the moment. Yeah. He's yeah, all he's over still the going. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, right, uh, yeah. I love that kind of stuff. Right? And we saw so much more of things like that at Games Gone, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but do I segue yet? Or should I like to save that one? Oh, well, and then we, had, uh, <laughs> we also had Katri Walker and Lizzie LaRue yes. in. Uh, yeah. they I came missed to them, us. sadly. But yeah, you, you missed them and I missed yeah. Aaron. But uh, yeah, they came by, they got to play the game. We actually had them in our team updates. So they got to see cool. a little bit so of cool. preview of what we've got coming up, but they won't share it. Yeah. Didn't they? Yeah. I think we spent the whole... <laughs> Don't quiz them on the it. The whole update, just seeing it come live on the screen and then just, just check in. Check in the yeah. <laughs> See their reaction. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. but that's a great, I, lo I love that we can do that. Like Not yeah. just have people in the studio, mm -hmm. but because they were here, it was on a Monday, we do our team update. Where yeah. And for those that don't know, that's our team. Like all of the different areas, the game experience, the progression, the PC, whatever, community, everything, mm -hmm. right? Um, they just give an update on what they've been working on that week. Maybe there's a video, maybe some screenshots, some, um, some PowerPoint slides, but whatever it is, it's like, like this is the latest stuff that we're doing and here's when it's going to be delivered here's yeah. what it's going to deliver to our community and like here's what feedback it was based on or whatever um so yeah to be able to give just to have i guess feel confident and comfortable comfortable enough to bring members of our community in and and let them a that we can trust them but b yes. that like um the way that we talk about things is completely fine to bring in outside <laughs> right? it's like um uh, I, I think that's so cool so yeah and then we saw Liz at Gamescom. Yeah, we did. Well. did. Yeah. She was I learned how to say her name, Liz LaRue. Can you do it, yeah? <laughs> Liz LaRue. I actually taught oh, him how to yeah. do it. I said it in so many behind closed doors interviews. <laughs> and I, took, yeah, no, yeah. I became the tutor last oh. week. It was yeah. like day two, maybe, yeah. I think I, I got it. Um, <laughs> but, like, 
yeah. she played on one of our streams. She did. Unfortunately, I'd already left, but uh, I didn't get to meet Music Me either, who came oh, by, yeah, and I, yeah, I, I missed yeah, him. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, yeah. I had to go and catch my yeah. flight. Well, it was again they knew each other, and that like because they yeah, met in the community. Yeah, she and was. Like, he was originally going to surprise her, yeah. and he said, "Don't tell her that I'm coming." So then we'll go and we'll stream together. Yeah. But I think she spotted on Discord or something that he uh, mentioned. Right. Okay. And yeah. she'd stopped on the way to visit Clumsy George to give him this oh, sign that, that she created cool. for him, which is. So yeah, all these people awesome. meeting in real life that met on the forums and in game and mind blowing. Like to travel all the way cool. to Belgium, wasn't it? Via they drove from England to Belgium to Cologne and back again. Yeah, wow. Yeah, and both both Cat and Liz said when they're in the studio that it is obviously to them like it, it, it's so cool but odd to see everyone they've seen from the videos. Yeah, but Hold on, they... I'm just going to um, give Josh a new gif. By oh way. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 that was an incredible gift. <laughs> that was incredible. Um, but no, because they both had community spotlights on them in the past. Yeah. It's just as weird for us. Like yeah. d- genuinely to see like mm-hmm. like Kat and Liz were both in the studio. And then the fact that they come together, like we should yeah. like with their super fans, we should do that more often. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and then we finally got to see what Clumsy George looked like on Liz's Twitter. Yeah. 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 Awesome. I know when they came in here they were like, The tavern's tiny. Yeah. Every, every <laughs> single like, person that comes to visit is really? like that. They always really? go, it looks so much bigger on YouTube. Hashtag wide mm. angle lens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else we got? We saw our first uh, cosplay. Oh, yeah. He was wow. super cool. That cute. was amazing. Tim, yeah. Yeah. I believe. Like yeah. four days it took him to make that. And um, yeah, the, it was, the fact he had the map, that was the bit that yeah. made it for me. So he yeah. could go and show it to people. <laughs> like, brilliant. Absolutely yeah, gold. Super. Yeah. The only one I'd seen previously is one of our concept artists dressed up as one of our parents yes. yeah. for yeah. Halloween a couple of years ago. Who was at Gamescom. Yes, Victoria. Victoria. Yeah. So first out in the wild official cosplay that I'd seen anyway. Yeah. I think he was uh, really excited to see the team as well who had put that, that, that character together. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you mentioned that in Monday Update, didn't you? Yeah. You just mentioned it, the, like how cool it is for the people that have concepted these characters and built these characters, then see it come true to life. Yeah. I didn't actually say that, but it, it's nice that you got I, don't, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just said it better than you probably would have yeah, said yeah. <laughs> 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 it. You guys had a cake baked for you, didn't you? A banana you? cake, right. a literal yeah, and figurative a banana cake. Better banana cake. Wow. No, yeah. I'm, I was did already see at home. I could have done my better banana cake. Yeah. Did we but, get? No, in the shape of a banana. It was, shape it was of like banana. some of our fans. I don't know if it was it actually stage. banana. Yeah, it was actually okay, banana okay, cake. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. They, they made us a chocolate ship last year. I think it was. And then there was a rare replay cake the year before. So every year they've. They were great, and like getting a chance to hang out with them just at lunch breaks and stuff. And yeah, I met them at fan fest. Yeah, they were fan fest. To, to drink a beer with them, didn't they? Like yes. We were like, sorry, we're working with a professionals. Um, <laughs> no way are we going to be drinking during the day when we should be on the booth. But just because our fans really wanted us to. And we actually, um, I guess technically we still owe them a beer because we do. said next yeah. time we'd get the round and we didn't go back. Yeah. So that makes us bad people. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd uh, signed on their T-shirts. Like on yes. one of them it said, I'm your number one fan or something. And then you, was it you that no, no, then gone and signed? Some... No, no, I just make wherever sure. I sign, Ted would then sign just above yeah, me. Yeah, I always make right. sure my signature <laughs> is, is above Joe's because I know that it so frustrates him. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. I would have let him have that moment. Yeah. <laughs> we also had um, the guy who won the rare replay console. That, that, Marcus. Well, Marcus. Yes. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. on the stream. Yes, so we to, yes. And the other guy who was on the stream, I put it on the WhatsApp group, but I don't know if you saw it. So the guy, the two guys that we'd scheduled to stream at the same time, they turned up and thought they recognised each other. They were best friends in school 11 years ago, hadn't seen each other in that whole time. And they met at the mixer booth when they were streaming Sea of Thieves. Bringing people together. Yeah. Sea of Thieves. <laughs> um, That's crazy. But it's yeah. really oh, that's amazing. amazing. He messaged me after and was just like, you, you've got me back in touch with my best friend. Yeah. But I think wow. genuinely one of the things that, I, I blows me away the most, or I'm most happy with, I guess, is the fact that we have insiders streaming our game, like at a show mm-hmm. like that. Do you know what I mean? That like, yeah, we can get creators and we can get press and we can get whoever, but like, as as valuable to us is the fact, and even more so, right, is that, that like these fans that are playing and they're coming to the shows, they're coming to see us, and the way that they will show off our game will be so such the right way because they get it right. Yeah. They've been they're on this journey with us, learning about the game, and kind of like just, I love that. I and think I it's guess because cool. they're under NDA in the actual inside the program itself. Yeah. 
this was their opportunity to mm. kind of to, to, yeah. to present so, themselves yeah. and then to them, give away the USB sticks as well. When some the of them on. who streamed aren't in the technical alpha yet. So yeah. it was the first time they'd ever got to play the game and they did it live on the internet with everybody watching. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Love it. We also had um, Veggie Vulture. Yep. Yes. Oh, he was so awesome, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. So much energy and so like. Yeah. It was cool to meet him and I've been watching all his, his videos as they go up on YouTube. With his so dog good. wearing yeah. a t-shirt. Yeah. 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 His video, video was really good. Though. Really good. Like, awesome. the, the one he put up of the show like with, and there was slow motion John in there. <laughs> Like, we should definitely include... <laughs> <That's it. laughs> but, yeah, but, um, like, but it was, it was a, like, considering how quickly it was put together, yeah, like, yeah. like, it was just such high quality. I was really impressed. So. It was cool as well that he obviously came there that day just to do that. Yep. Just to be, and he was only there for one day, spent yeah. it doing all the stuff for season. With a cameraman. Was amazing. With yeah. the cameraman. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The other thing I put down was the tattoo. The tattoo. Oh, oh, that was Tom, amazing. Thomas wasn't? King. Yep. Which is next? I, if dedication. people haven't seen it, we've retweeted it on on Twitter. But it's do we have we don't have the key art in here anywhere, do we? Don't. No don't. one's wearing it on a t-shirt. But if people go to Amazon.co.uk, uh, they can see the logo there. And maybe also put in a pre-order. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, it's a little like a little <laughs> one underneath. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's this, right? But yeah, full, yeah. the full uh, yeah, in yeah. The colour version. Yeah. But it actually it looks great. Calf. We think uh, yes, yeah. it's on the yeah. side of yeah. The, like yeah, yeah, on the side yeah. That was all from me, unless there's something that you any remember. Pr- any particular threads in the forums over the time when we were the, 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 on. I was just going to ask, does anyone here have a tattoo? Because I was just interested to know a how tattoo- many sittings it would take for him to have got no. that tattoo. So it's quite detailed, isn't it? So I imagine that would be my my sitting. intern has many 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 you tattoos. Don't have a tattoo, so I, have to do I don't have a tattoo. You look like somebody who would have a tattoo. Do I really? Mm. Oh, well, I'm trying not to offend you. <laughs> I just remembered. Green Skull told me when he was playing with me in the Technical Alpha that if he starts making lots of Sea of Thieves content, he will get one. So just as a reminder, if you're watching Dan, Dan the Hamel, Green Skull, if you're watching yeah. Dan, uh, we remember. Yeah. <laughs> he, did, he did promise. So yeah. you guys should get them. Yeah. I'm not including myself because I'm always. <laughs> When the game comes out in like early 2018, yeah. Yeah. we get some tattoos. Mass yeah. tattoos. I think the, yeah. didn't the Lord of the Rings film team, they all got they tattoos, got, didn't they? Uh, they Elvish go. or something, right? We Although, to was, it, was it Ian McKellen who said no? Mm. Someone did. We should get it. Who's going to be Ian Ironically, McKellen? watching those films felt like the length of our development, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Joe. We are just, like, I can see Mount Doom. I'm just, I'm just now... <laughs> Carrying Ted up the slope. <laughs> 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 we throwing him in at the yeah. top. Like <laughs> Brilliant. You'll taste those sweet strawberries again. <laughs> trying to think of a quote that could go with that, but like my post games con no. mind cannot come up with a quote. No. So we're going to get the tattoos like right here in the forehead, though. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll the model ours on yours. Hang on, that, you, that you was get John done. volunteering, right? We've yeah. got it on film. Yeah. 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 We do it to each other. We're just like a I'm sure James bit Shul- of ink and a. James like, Thomas said he'd dye his beard blue. <laughs> James Thomas said he'd dye his beard blue. He's, oh, that doesn't count. What was the context? I was, it was in an events meeting. He just said when the game comes out, he'll dye his beard blue. What's blue about the game? Hey, what, the yeah. sea, the sky. <laughs> <laughs> the very least, we'll get henna. It's just not a key colour, is it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll pass that on. <laughs> and what's great is we listen to feedback. Right now, so, and if yeah, if anybody's watching, like the video team, obviously listen to your valuable feedback and have lowered the mics. Uh, and oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I got, I got hidden. I think it's probably just my fat head blocking Emma now. <laughs> <isn't it>? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah there you go. Sorry, sorry, Emma. <laughs> So I've got like here. Obviously, let's talk about Gamescom. Like, what was the story of Gamescom for us? As I just <laughs> Cross play, and I guess really just showing the PC for the first time as well, mm-hmm. and, and giving people uh, an opportunity. Like we went there to, to basically say that you know we've got this massive insider community, and there's already 38 percent of them are PC, but we've never kind of targeted them, and we've never really gone to PC players at shows and gone, "Hey, you know, come and play Sea of Thieves." So it's fascinating to have like real PC players come over and and admire the you know 21 by nine and the 4K 60 and all the, like the kind of expectations, but then also. Just when they go into crossplay with people on Xbox, like you don't even notice. Like it, we got a lot of feedback on the forums as well. Going back to your question about what we saw on the forums, like just a number of threads around, like yeah, played your people on, didn't even notice. Like, yeah, people cool. in the queue really liked it as well. When we were sort of filtering people through, I said, "And would you like to play on Xbox or PC?" And the, most of them just went, "What <laughs> PC?" And yeah. so many people stopped by the booth and said, "We've been following the game for about two years, but I didn't think it was for me. And now I know it's on PC. Suddenly, I'm really, really yeah. interested." Right. So it seemed to be getting the word out a bit more. Yeah, 
and uh, everybody I met at other booths and other events all wanted to play PC. Yeah, we kind of set ourselves a goal of like it'd be cool to win an award or two as well, and yeah, yeah. managed to get a we couple did. out there, a bit like best PC games. So um, you know, I think as well, like over time, we'll just move towards like it's 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 a game and it happens to be on both both yeah. the platforms yeah. we have available but right now it's just it's good for us to make that impression to people that you know it is a pc game we are taking it seriously and we're really listening to player mm -hmm. feedback as well like we've talked about in recent videos i think like awesome. sometimes is that the message can get confused with this play anywhere mm -hmm. and and cross, cross play, play yeah and cross save etc what is what yeah what yeah. is what and yeah. it's like Fair to say we are supporting all of it. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is it? Don't know, but we're doing it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and the streaming but from PC as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all of that was being streamed. Yeah. That was one of my favourite parts actually of Gamescom. For me personally, was just I've never really streamed. Um it's just not something I've really done, but it was it was kind of fun to, you know, put on the the hat of like from a personal progression perspective, it would be better if we did X or Y or Z, but from a banter slash this would be funnier to watch perspective, I'm totally leaving that person behind. I'm totally, you yeah, know, trolling my Yeah, every single one crew. you did, it was like, right, someone's going, someone's walking the plank, put a poll <laughs> in the chat. That was fun, actually. Yeah. Like, that was fun, again, having that kind of two-way dialogue to the community of, like, yeah. should Shelley walk the plank? <laughs> uh, if there's yeses, then Shelley walk it. If there's noes, then I'll walk it. And I think, was it, mm -hmm. was it John or Emma, like, we're just going through and going, like, right, we're at eight yeses and three noes. Yeah, it was and... Xbox on and Benny just got trolled really yeah. hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That yeah. was good fun. It was fun, obviously, taking some of the questions from the chat, uh, which... Uh, like... Which I was sitting on the floor having to text them to John from the middle of the room <laughs> nice. and nice. then wave at him to check his phone. <laughs> so it wasn't I the tech. smoothest system that we had <laughs> yeah. going. But, uh, um, yeah, that was yeah. good. That was actually great, though, to be able to talk that openly with our players yeah. and answer yeah. things live and in real time. And in the game, which yes. was just really cool to be yeah. playing the game yeah, yeah, while yeah. you were answering those. But it meant I just kept like climbing up the ship and then talking and then running off the other side like, like you do <laughs> when you're not really concentrating like, I've never done that didn't we yeah. do a thing where trying to jump off the you nest. were trying to copy yeah. my style and you kept failing that was like the story of your games it was wasn't it that was pretty good I I can see it I was going to yeah. come back with something now that could be the thumbnail yeah yeah but yeah that was fun Like, and for anyone who doesn't know we found this thing because like, we're developers but we still learn things about the game which is why it's such a fascinating project to work on and like to, we, we found that if you went to the top of the crow's nest jump on the little ledge so you're right on the lip and then do like a heavy attack lunge and at the last second just push forward it will give you this awesome like swan dive velocity into the water and you're or kind of nailing. you just drop straight down onto the deck <laughs> and, and break die your leg. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or that happens five times in a row on, on a, a live stream, stream. <laughs> <laughs> that was good well meanwhile and you, and you know I how competitive I am right, right. Mm. and so I just get one more like, I'm going to get it like, and then and then you went I'm not doing it that's it I'm done yeah. and then I just see like this body going up the ladder <laughs> <laughs> just like, one silently more try. angry yeah, yeah it's good nice. it's fun to find out new things like that I used your shovel as percussion thing the other yeah. week. Nice. It's great, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I always do that now. Yeah. yeah. Little thing. Because on metal, on mm. wood, it's got, it's got so many options. Wait, how did Joe take ownership of that? I'm pretty sure that was no, someone on the floor. Someone the told him, the community. but then he they told showed the story, me. And, he's and now yeah. we all know. I didn't take credit. You didn't take credit, credit for it. No, he didn't take credit You just gave him no, credit. No. <laughs> Never give Joe credit. Okay. Well, I hear the end of it. Don't let me get my photos out of my phone, Ted. There's a camera there. Sorry. Next question. So it was. It was obviously it was quite a... The thing is, it's quite a long week yes. um, for us, mm. and it's quite mm. tiring. But oh, it's, it's exhausting. Very I feel terrible. I'm the only one that came home early. Oh, and oh no, there was, there was about half the team. I wasn't even there. Usually it's Mike me. I'm going, so we had early. an amazing <laughs> E3, and I'm, never, I'm never truth, there. truth be told, truth be told, I, I did get into the car to go to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> then I, you know, I just I just realised I just I didn't hand-pack the essentials. <laughs> I went home and just, just logged into the technical album and just had such a great time. I just stayed. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. But it is like Gamescom is the most exhausting show there is, right? Mm. Like the the show opens at nine and finishes at eight every day, and so we but you have to be there, at, yeah, be there at eight, and yeah. then you're always there at the end. Like the people that who were trying to close out everything are like having to wait while we let the last crew play till half eight or whatever, and yeah, it's exhausting. And so yeah, like you say, we had about half the team go out till Thursday night and then come home, and then about half stayed all the way through until Sunday, and then, yeah, by by the end, right, it was like oof. I think I slept twelve hours when I yeah, got home. I never, yeah. do, I'm an insomniac, yeah. so I. Just yeah. Up, like, wow. yeah, yeah, but 
the team did an amazing job. Like we took a lot of people who hadn't mm -hmm. been to shows before. And it's kind of funny, right? Because you come home and you have all the photos on Twitter of everyone having fun and it all looking awesome. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, it's a bit of a jolly. And then you take new people and they're like, yeah, all right. It's not as much of a jolly as I thought. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Selfies where like, the two seconds where you're like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah. But still massively rewarding. Mm -hmm. Just and we met so many insiders, didn't yeah. we? Like yeah. so many like would come up and be like, Hey, like we've been watching all the videos and like loving yeah. it and we're still here in the queue to play the game and it's like well, you could just play at home. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, like just like awesome. I love that we have so many just fans and people we're meeting and coming up and taking photos and asking questions yeah. and giving us gifts. You know, the, 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 that little scroll that someone gave us. Did you see that? Was it, a, uh, it was like a, it was. It was, but it was a. It was like a, a story written about this disappearing chest in a in a in a like. Um, like a little lake or not lake what's a small lake a pond um, <laughs> yeah uh, a on, on an island lake. yeah <laughs> but <laughs> I can't think of like, what's the word but um, uh, but he just put it there and then it disappeared and he worked out he could recreate it and so but then he wrote this really great story on this um, scroll about this but then the second page of the scroll was he had literally handwritten the HTTC like forum bug link where he'd actually written it up as a bug <laughs> on these two <laughs> scrolls and then tied it together and given it to us that's awesome yeah yeah it was so funny um uh, but I, again, I love people with that creativity. Someone yeah. had written this kind of almost fan fiction about this like <laughs> cursed kind of <laughs> pond on an island. Um, but no, it was just a re re recreatable bug, basically. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's cool. all the magic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and lots of people that came last year. Yeah. So it it's like what four hundred thousand people go yeah. to Gamescom, but it actually felt quite small because I kept bumping into people that remembered me from last year or people from other studios that we never get to see. So it was really. Really nice. A lot of uh, other developers were playing the game as well, which was great to see that kind of. Yeah. Um, they had the yeah. Battlefront, Battlefront team over. Well, they came, yeah. four of them came over, and then the next day there was like 12 what? of yeah. them, wasn't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, we want to come and play this. We've heard, we've heard yeah. the other guys. <laughs> yeah. They gave us all passes to go and play their game yeah. early and stuff, which was cool. So it's always good like, seeing that kind of camaraderie between, between studios. Yeah. Like. yeah. <laughs> it was a good opportunity as well for us on the PC side to like, you know, go and chat to AMD, go and chat to NVIDIA, go and chat to Intel, and, and really <clears throat> like. <coughs> Sorry, uh, it's Gamescom, Gamescom croakiness. <laughs> Sorry to lose, I just deafened. Um, but yeah, just to, uh, to chat about, you know, as our as we move towards early 2018 and like how they can help us and how we can help them and really mm. just also just, you know, go for a drink with them and, and socialise because you don't often get to do that with, you know, studios that work in different countries or partners that do as well. So. Like yeah. I said, hard work. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is intense because awesome, you, you, you plan stuff in the evening as well and like you plan yeah. stuff during the day and then you're getting up early. So yeah, I went to a YouTube brunch that had a ball pit. It's great That's with a photo cool. booth in it. That's cool. But it was work. Yeah. <laughs> well, we met the, a YouTuber that came by the booth um, on Saturday, uh, who we met at uh, uh, when we were out. Oh, really? The, the on the Friday night? On the Friday night. Like, I remember by. that now. Yeah. yeah, I remember meeting that guy. Yeah. So he, he came, actually he, came by the booth. He came by and he oh, waited sorry. for, like, I uh, got a got past the queue a bit earlier just because obviously I said like you could come in at this particular time and he came in and played the game enjoyed it and loved it and yeah. he said he wanted to start it on his channel and so there you go so that justifies every single drink that we had on Friday night <laughs> every single thing that happened <laughs> <laughs> every single broken finger or whatever yeah. um, justified because we've got a YouTuber that's interested in our game exactly. I will submit the expenses tonight <laughs> <laughs> so. um the other thing to talk about that we've been running, obviously not at Gamescom, but the campaign mm. that ran in the Technical Alpha. Yeah. Yes. Um, so obviously, Christina was kind of heading that up, but yeah. <coughs> back here, but yourself, were you part of the design on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And Ted was as and well. Ted. I think in that particular design meeting was just, uh, it's always great when you have a design meeting where <coughs> it's not just designers, but like we had a, a real wealth of disciplines in the room and everyone was kind of like adding things to it. Like yeah. it started off, I think, just an idea of like, maybe there's a pinpoint on the map where there's there's a shipwreck. And then it just kind of went around the room and like everyone was chipping in and like, it's great when you leave a meeting like we did and, and like everyone felt like they had an input and like afterwards people were talking about it. And then I think it kind of spread through the office and even then like we tinkered with it a bit more. And yeah. But well, it's always kind of how much information do we give away? Yeah. Like I think before we, we well, we'd written quite, what we thought were quite cryptic riddles, but people solved them really quickly. So we deliberately wanted to well, make it a proper riddle this time, make it a, a truly kind of a you know a fun task to try and solve. So not only the amount of information we give away, but where where's the right place to hide this stuff? How do we stage the release of the information? So I think like 
that night after we'd had that meeting, I just sat at home with a map printed out, just drawing lines. Going, where can we, where can we place them? What makes sense? What would make a cool riddle? But yeah, it's just awesome to watch people's thought process on the forums and yeah. the whole thing where people were keeping their cards really close to their chest because it, I guess we suspected that might happen, but then we. We also hoped there'd be a lot of back and forth with people sharing theories, but no one was doing that at all. People were really kind of just trying to recruit new crew members for their crew and then obviously talking amongst themselves, <laughs> but nothing was making it back to the forum. There were consoles at stake. They didn't want to it's share true. information. It's true, but we've got a, a dashboard where, where it kind of shows the the campaign chest that had been found, how many had been cashed in, and just seeing the first ones kind of tally up, it was such a cool moment. And that was... End of day one, wasn't it? It was in the right at the end of day one, yeah. 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like somebody it had found it for the first time. Yeah. 14 hours, yeah. And then somebody else found it about five hours later. Was it the second one? Was it five yes. hours? Yeah, yeah, I think that was it. The rabbit holes that people went down as well, where yeah. it's like, oh, what does it mean when they're, uh, they're they've been rotated slightly and then trying to. You know, they go off on a tangent in the wrong direction, but it's like, you're close, mm. you're so close, just, you know, and like sometimes like take a step back. It's that, it's that when you can't solve a riddle, it's like, let me look at it differently. And yeah, Someone fascinating to watch people solve it. Managed to find the, the, the fairy coast. of the dam. Yeah, the fairy of the dam. <laughs> yeah. 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 In, in the world. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought that was it. Thought that was yeah. it, yeah. And they were like, we solved it. Like, yeah. <laughs> we actually met him at Yes, uh, we did. Yeah, we met him in the show, yeah. He, he was came like, over. Oh, in, in, in the military over in um, oh, yeah, stationed he was in stationed Germany. Out there. English, oh, oh, yeah. not, oh, okay. There was a Canadian. He was, was uh, Dan. Was, he was yeah, stationed yeah, in Germany. Was Dan. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. He actually streamed for us like, that yeah. day, didn't he? But, he was like, like the most like militant clearly, <laughs> clearly yeah. because he, he just knew exactly what to do and like he was just giving me orders and I was like yes sir <laughs> <laughs> like just following and it was a really fun it was a really fun play session uh, because of it but it's funny because we were doing the behind closed doors interviews talking about the game obviously and we, ha we actually had the map with all the clues printed out mm. and so we talked to, like day, day one of the interviews would talk to the journalists and kind of just allude to what we were doing but not hit the details but then after day one when someone had found it like in the, the next day I kind of talked to the details of it a little bit and like Shelley was in there sitting going you sure we should be doing that and like the end of the day I was like oh well, hold on what if like because I just assumed once someone had found it everyone else would share it and stuff and it not wasn't the all. case at all not and all. we were like so I was like panicking late that night like trying to find the journalist that had interviewed us on Twitter and literally reaching out and tweeting them and going just can like can you follow me so I can quickly ask you something and it was like can you not talk about the, the campaign until Sunday <laughs> <laughs> like every, anything else that we talked about is fair game just please don't because you'll spoil it for our community and they, they were like absolutely no problem like, yeah I think I think like, it took to the end of that week the end of the Gamescom week to, for real people to start being open with okay. what it is, and, and the, you'd yeah. often see people say, "Well, um, you know, profit message me, and I'll give you some hints." I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you the full thing because <laughs> okay. I want you to solve it for yourself because yeah. it's kind of cool That's when great. you solve it. But I think one thing the whole process we went through kind of proved is just how much fun it is to design these events. Yes. It, it was because it, it's a great exercise where you can kind of look at like what you've got and how you can twist it in a certain way to to get some new gameplay out of it. It's just and then thinking like the story behind it and like the wreck and all of that, it was just, yeah, a lot of fun to go do. So looking forward to doing more in the future. Then obviously we had, like we were all away, but people were still here working in the studio. So what's been happening here over away? Were they, Mark? Yeah. Absolutely, they were. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, we had lo a, loads a, of work. a dog done. leading the studio that week. We did, yeah. A, yeah. a new captain. Yeah, nice bow tie. Yeah. <laughs> all on the, on the, yeah, well, what can I, what can I say on the on the the quest side? So we are um, made a lot of progress on one of the new types of quests. Um, now the focus is just um, getting all the presentation right about it. But we're making good progress. And then we're shortly going to be starting our other type of quest. And if people have watched previous podcasts, you'd probably be able to work <laughs> out which ones I'm referring to. But th those are going really well. And it, it's less it's less about the actual. Like mechanically, what a player is going to be doing on those quests. It's also the the kind of how it fits into the world. What's the story of it? How do how do these different quests interact with each other? Um, but yeah, making making good progress on that. Does that mean I've got to do an update for every single? Yep. Yeah. That's going to be pretty difficult. <laughs> <laughs> well, like we talked about, actually, we talked about the smaller ship quite a lot of games gone, mm. um, and there's a ton of good work being made around that, right? So like, and it was actually 
fairly swift for us to be able to get that up and running, wasn't it? Like because of all the work we'd done on the yeah. buoyancy and the yeah. physics and, and everything else. And so pulling that together and we'd obviously prototyped it ages ago in mm -hmm. Unity, but to kind of quickly get it working and prototyped in um, Unreal and then to be playing it into how it plays and how it plays with one player, how it plays with two, like, you know, the, where you can throw the water off the back and yeah. like, all that kind of stuff. Like that's so cool to see that come in and for us to be able to start playing that in the morning sessions here at the studio. And, you know, when we're going to be delivering that to players and seeing how those two things go up against each other, I think that's going to be fascinating to see what that's like yep. in the real world. Is everyone going to gravitate towards that and then start going back towards, like, both? Or, like, because I mean, I've spoken to so many people that were like, I, I thought all I wanted was a single player ship in this, but then as soon as I started playing in crews with others, it's like, yeah. oh, wow, this mm. is amazing. And... It's going to be f like that will be again one of those fascinating telemetry and investigative pieces of work, right? Once we put it in, yeah. what think, does it do to our experience? I think it, it, it's always mm. important to remember that it's not, it, <laughs> it's not going to be exclusive, like I'm only going to play this way. You might play a certain way, you might gravitate to the large ship or the small ship just based on your friends that are online, yeah. the mood that you're in, the kind of you know what you want to go do in the world. So, I think seeing people move between the two experiences is going to be cool to see. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a lot of situational stuff like that and it can, it kind of goes back to the cross-play stuff where we've done it so that you can just pick and choose. Yeah. Uh, sorry, and I guess play anywhere as well. Um, and in fact, the, the crew that got the chest in the campaign, they were a cross-play crew, weren't they, as well? So it's just like us trying to break down all of these barriers and like you play Sea of Thieves how you want at that moment in time or in the course of the week or however it is. Like us giving you as many different ways to play yeah. on as many different devices. By the way, I did love on the Reddit, the, the really the really highly rated Reddit post about someone saying like about, uh, I played crossplay with Xbox players and it was amazing. Yeah, but the great. GIF he used was one that was slightly derogatory towards Xbox players. Did you see it? Like, uh, it was the, I like, read the thread, it, but I don't remember. Yeah, you know, GIF. the GIF, it's like, it's even though the, the post was like really kind of positive, <laughs> the, the, the GIF was a bit like... <laughs> Wasn't it Pirates of Caribbean? Uh, no, it was um, Jack Rackham, I think in... Um, oh, oh, is it from uh, Black, Black Sails? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With the one where he kind of ducks and he's got the little Xbox logo. And the PC players, the captain. Yeah, it was quite funny. Someone called him out on it and he was like, no, no, it was great. Like, I'm joking. Yeah. But, um, uh, but that was that was genuinely, I sent that post around our WhatsApp group, didn't I? Um, yeah, it's uh, really cool. Yeah. Uh, other messaging kind of services are available, I think. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Very BBC. <laughs> Very BBC. <laughs> yeah. but, um, but I just, again, I love seeing that. Like, it's what we've been saying, right? Like, about it's just seamless. You don't even know. Yeah. And, like, um, yeah, and people just discovering it when they chat to each other, right? And so, like, yeah, what we envisaged, super cool. So Yeah, well, I, I guess it's got no... There's no kind of caveats to it. It is just the same experience. It's not like it's cross-play in a limited way. It's the full experience. It's cross-play. Yeah. It's one less. There's, there's no asterisks by it. That was, yeah. our, that was our little... Uh, oh, little did you? Oh. Mm. And I guess this nice. week, we get to go through all the data of last week's play sessions, right? That's if it. we had yeah, yeah. 24 hours for five days, all that data of how PC players and Xbox players play together, mm -hmm. and I guess most importantly, the input differences between yep, keyboard cool. and mouse and control that we can actually get together and go, you know, what is the advantage? Mm -hmm. and, and then start to work out, you know, is it big enough that we want to address it or is it small enough that actually it's just it's fine um, I'm sure we'll share it with the community Sorry? at a later yeah. date that one number from the thing today the of most played 66 hours, hours. 66 which hours which is almost well, like Some 12 hours a day days, right? Days, right? I really, yeah, so I really hope he managed to find the, uh, <laughs> the, the oh, chest yes. of the campaign yeah. otherwise he was just like 66 hours I'm done <laughs> 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 found the ghost ship it wasn't that 13 <laughs> hours 13 minutes every day of the 5 days what's that yeah. I think it's that. Something that's that's a lot impressive. of that's well, a lot like impressive. Maths. Or just like one massive marathon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like now just asleep at his desk. Just right, right. yeah. In fact that would be an interesting stat to try and find. Like what was the longest session as yeah, well? Yeah, in one, just, like, consecutive one sitting. continuous yeah. play session. Yeah. Like if someone got to like twenty yeah. hours, because well, be it was like eleven hours, I think it was our highest for that so far. If okay. like at least that was the stat we had at E three. Okay, had, prior. Yeah, had played eleven hours, fifteen minutes or something in one continuous session. Um, Maybe they're tag teaming and it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 you still you still often see out there in the community people get get their invite they come in for one of the tests and then it's like oh I hope I get invited again do yeah. you, do you, that's still we get a lot a, we a keep having to reiterate once you're in you're, you're in, in, you're in you, you can yeah. you'll be invited Good to show. all future sessions and so if people aren't aware that yeah. that is the if you case. want to play for all day all night you're welcome you but can do that yeah. you will be in future tests yeah. sweet time for questions. Ooh. Ooh. Jump. I'm sorry, what was that? Time for a question. No, but you went, ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a little going into questions. John was noise. singing a lot at Gamescom, oh, and it was always great whenever I John saw a sings, sunset. John sings all the time regardless. I was like, John, there's a sunset. 
What about uh, singing The Lion King? And then Come you on, went. Say. And I actually got to do yeah. it. <laughs> but <laughs> when you're the Beatles. <laughs> Now that's the gift, <laughs> and, and that's the. That really was loud. There you go. Very loud, and also the wrong words. I was uh, there. Yeah, I, don't I was know. there then. Were you? I was like, there. You saw the savannah. Yeah, yeah. I did saw the sun sunrise. <laughs> um, so a bit Beyonce as well. She crept crept in at some point. Oh yeah, there was. I think we went through all the pop. Someone went to the game. right, all the and then you just games. went to the right, to the right, and then to you the were left. like, you could see you try that, but like oh, to, <laughs> they went to the right, and then I think you yeah. started singing the lyrics, yeah. and I don't know what it is. <laughs> to the left, to, to the, the left, left everything the you own in a box to the left. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. Clearly not Beyonce. To the right. port, to the port. <laughs> 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 I warned you about inviting me to this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were still singing Celine time. Dion all last year. Oh, yeah, that's oh, Wow, I've changed it. Time and time again, every single crew he was on had to sing My Heart Will Go On. It's good. They joined in, though. They that, did. that was last, so last year. This year you were just asking everyone what their, their pirate name was. That was your oh, that was thing, fun. wasn't it? Yeah, just going around to people on, on the, the crew and just being like... Oh, yeah, so I had a PC crew with a console friend <laughs> and I think they called him Captain Peasant. <laughs> 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 which, uh, <laughs> which did make me smile. Um, <laughs> and then everyone just keep calling it. But also, just to add to that quick story and not, <laughs> and not bore everyone... Is like the elite, the elite gamer on. The, so we had in this crew of myself and three others. You had one who was a complete PC only. You had the, someone else who was mixed and like switched between platforms. Yep. And then you had the person that played on console only. And the the guy who was playing PC only referred to himself as an elitist and like the, he, he was he was funny and he was it was very much in mm. ba- in good banter. But he was rubbish. <laughs> and, like, and like at the start, I said to him like, by the way, now that you've said that you're the elitist here, I'm going to judge you more than any anyone else on the team so he fell out the crow's nest I was like strike one <laughs> um, he he died to a skeleton strike two and I think he got to like strike eight and I stopped stopped counting but Aww. meanwhile Mr. Captain Peasant uh, was amazing and like went around digging up the treasure finding all the stuff so again it goes to show you that a platform uh, isn't everything sorry John <laughs> that was like a little message at the end there was yeah. this platform isn't everything the right we've got a question here from Hamburger Hamburger Hamburger, Lara. Pepsi. Uh, Pepsi the guy that work, doesn't he work for McDonald's as part That's of Ronald McDonald's team? Mm. Yeah. Um, the, the hamburger. You don't see him anymore. Oh, though, yeah, the little guy. The oh. thing that is that a thing? Is that still a thing? Yeah. Because not in the UK. You don't really see that guy I, anymore. Well, that's because he's know. on Twitter he's all the time. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's got his finger <laughs> on the pulse. <laughs> exactly. He's, like, he's moved on to the social media. Fast food? Does he steal hamburgers? I'd assume so. Hamburger. And then Ronald McDonald stops him. Well, it is. Well, a, no, I think one of them is a ringleader. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't right, yeah. steal your TV. It's all a front, that smiley, terrifying clown I, face. I, I don't um, know, actually. <laughs> he steals burgers. He steals burgers. Sounds like McDonald's got rid of it for a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody Everyone's it. just like, this is a bit off brand. Why is he stealing them? So, so like, funny thing, no, this is the best tangent of all time. Um, Back Where in the day when I, when I was at Sumo Digital, it literally is like, like TM. Um, <laughs> when I worked at Sumo Digital, I worked like very briefly worked on a game that had Mr. Potato Head in as a Ooh, character. And so yeah. you had a long list of things you couldn't do with Mr. Potato Head, one of which was ever show him eating chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's actually really good. I was, trying to, I was actually waiting to criticise you. No, no, for, that's for good. That, was that was a really yeah, good one. So, Makes sense. That's anyway, very good. Cannibal. Anyway, back to Mr. Hamburger. <laughs> Yep. So he said, "When can I spend my three hundred thousand oh. gold, and will there be different instruments?" Oh, you will be able to spend your gold soon. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure no. we said that last time. Did we? We yeah, said yeah. before yeah. the next eclipse last time, and there was an eclipse whilst we were at Gamescom. Did we? Was top, we would commit James to that. said it. <laughs> we normally talk about customization. Like gold and the gold you have will play a part both in. Customization across several areas, and it also kind of feeds into the progression system. So that's why the progression team kind of owns that work around spending of the gold and the kind of that, that economy in the game. Um, but like, everyone's got their heads down working on that at the moment. Yeah, and we're going to be bringing that stuff in in stages, right? Yeah. With our insiders, right? Um, and and but I think it's really important to for everybody to understand in our alpha, right? That this is a test phase. 
And so, you know, that gold, sure, you'll be spending it and stuff, but there will be moments when we're like, actually, we need to reset this. We need to, like, like there will be things like that we have to do during a, during a, a test phase, right? So, um, like, that's, that's what an alpha is. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be bringing those things in in stages, like, the, you know, the shop stuff. There's yeah. there's a reason that little door's open, hasn't it, on the uh, yeah. on the island? It is, it is. Yeah. 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 Like, so, and, you know, people have noticed that, and it's like, oh, it's really cool. So, like, we're bringing stuff in, and, and we're, we're testing things internally. It's super cool. So, but, yeah, but... Yeah, to test phase. Right. It's, not, <laughs> right. it's not too far. Yeah, so, not yeah. long. Not long. Let's not put any time frames on it. But we well, do. Only, only. I know it's the worst answer in the world to say soon, but it's only because we don't want to disappoint people. You know, it is, it is a common question. Yeah. The main focus of the game right now is to earn gold, and that gold amounts to nothing more than a high score. Gold will have a big part in this game, both in the progression system and in customizing. So yeah, it is coming. It is coming. Uh, Anubis316 wants to know if we're going to be at PAX, Joe. Yes, but won't this have gone out after PAX? Yes. Yes, we were at PAX. And it was brilliant. Who's <laughs> 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 your other finger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually followed very quickly by the same guy asking, or girl, uh, be it? now that Gamescom is over, will you be at New York Comic Con? But yeah, we will be at New York Comic Con, not playable, but um, we've got some very cool stuff to say. So we're going to be doing a panel, um, and there's going to be also a bit of a live stream interview, I think, as part of that. Um, yeah, so that's going to be super exciting, actually. I think there's going to be some really cool stuff to share, um, you know, around this game being this fun, welcoming multiplayer experience. So yeah, very much looking forward to that. Uh, Vitinho444 on... Victor Siobhan. No, because no. No, there's no H. Yeah, my middle name's Siobhan. It takes longer than the question. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get his name people. right because people just always comment below and they're like, they answered my question, so I want him to know it's It's probably been question. their game tag for like a decade and you're just butchering it. <laughs> what, how do you read it then? Which one? How do you pronounce that Ask then? me, Mike, ask me, what is it? This one. Victor, how do you say Chioban. that? Chioban. 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 Victor Chioban. 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 <laughs> Mike, what's the question? <laughs> When the beta is going to be released, or when is the beta going to be released, is there going to be some sort of character customization? When will we have another play session? There's three questions in one. Well, yes. Victor, that's a great question. It is um, a great question. <laughs> well, you can get involved in the technical alpha now. You can go to cfthews.com forward slash insider. Correct. Um, and just come and join us. We're always open to feedback. Um, the next part was, <laughs> yes, there will be some sort of character customization, but I won't go too much detail because you just spoke about it two seconds yeah. ago. We'll another play and session. another play session is what we're working on at the moment yeah. and just working out our calendar yeah. from now until early next year. Yeah. And He's I think on it. character He's customization on it. for us is unique for Sea of Thieves in terms of how we allow players to kind of select characters and then how we allow them to mm -hmm. adjust them and the items and all yep. that kind of stuff. Like There's a lot of very cool Sea of Things. Like the, in the team update today, the kind of oh, yes. and like yep. mock-up animation um, stuff. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Joe, so excited. I've never seen it. Joe is in full on leak mode today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, we're going to have a front come. end. Whoa. <laughs> 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 It's because I'm still drunk from games going on. Here, it's not, <laughs> just like, yeah, I don't know what's in here, but like, let's keep going. Thomas King, who has a nice, respectfully easy to say name. Yes. Uh, can you please make lots of mini squishes, uh, see your thieves fidget spinners and sell oh, them I on the, the, the online shop? I showed the fidget spinner please. that I've got on Twitter last night. Not a fan. No, neither was I. Until you start playing with one. They're party bag. But it doesn't, isn't that any... They are party bag. You don't need it to be sea of no, thieves, right? This one no. has lights on it, it's fun. No, because the bit you hold is the branded bit. Yeah. So you can't, so you can't see, see it. Anyway. Yeah, right, I just film like, it. Like, it's just like that. a terrible We'll design. put them in the tavern. In game. Right. In game. Yeah. Fidget spinners in game. Hold right trigger. Hold <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> No, that illustrates my point that it doesn't fit in at all. It's party bag. Yeah. They, they were made for children. Oh. For the kids. That makes it all right. Well, here's one for you, Joel. Because children have a low bar for quality. For me. Yeah. <laughs> Salem Vice. I have Salem Vice. Says, I'm wanting to hear more on the potential horizontal progression. Joel touched on this briefly. Was hoping to hear more. Did I? Mm. Was, it, was that in a... Uh, it says hashtag leaks for days. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That was, that was in the um, one of the streams, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What did you say? I uh, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, I think I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> and it relates yeah. to that previous, the previous question from Victor about customization, which is the way we'll realize customization in our game will be subtly different because mm -hmm. the game is inherently social. So I'm sure people who play our technical alpha have noticed there's a little area on the ship that has appeared. Yeah. Um, so that's, well, yeah, that's, 
I've given away quite a lot there. Um, no, but that, that hashtag <laughs> leaks for days. And there you go. Hey, Sam we Sam Weimer's going to get to use his photo now. Mm-hmm. He's been waiting for oh, ages. Has he not used it? Yet? Leaks well, he just showed me on his phone, didn't he? <laughs> no. But how customization shows up in the game will make the most of the fact that it's a social experience. So things have a social currency. So it's not just about power progression because that puts barriers in place to friends to play together and that's not what our game is about but at the same time people need to feel that progression and feel that they've got the things to show off the unique things they've done in the game mm-hmm. uh, Izzy Tailford wants to know can the table dog be in an NPC I assume she means Kato <laughs> I, I'm pretty table sure I can, again I confirmed on live stream that we'd get him in somehow the fans love him yeah we love him mm. like, I'm sure we will get him in somehow and it will be appropriate to see if they it will well. well, you saw you saw um, Josh and Paul's tweet. Yes, Just brought an eye patch on me. He's, yeah, he's Josh, really yeah. Good, good to go. <laughs> yeah. Bipolar Zombie asks, "What plans are you taking to stop griefers and trolls?" Uh, my first play session as a new invite was horrible, but the game is amazing. Right. Okay. <laughs> honest feedback. But... Yeah, yeah. Was he the troll? Was he? Yeah. Was he just like? Oh. <laughs> or was he playing with Ted? Was that the problem? <laughs> Against Ted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess first of all, like, yeah, sorry that you encountered uh, yeah. an unfair crew. We'd, we've definitely, I've encountered it myself, and it is frustrating when um, you're, you're playing the, the game that you're working on, and there are people better than me, and they know how to uh, troll me to in existence. But um, yeah, we're just doing a lot of work on that at the moment, aren't yeah. we? With some new stuff to uh, yeah, so talk about probably very soon. Game experience team is. Um, working on a few things in that area, just making sure that we uh, level the playing field a little bit and give people the tools they need to yeah, we resolve issues like this. Yeah, we can sort it on a bit. And it's not just about you know, using a stick, it's about using what's unique about a game to encourage people to play in the right way. But there's a, there's a few bits of work that's well underway at the moment in that area. And community we see it and as a, it is a problem. customer support have been working with design on that to sort of say this is what we've been seeing in terms of feedback. So that's all yeah. being produced. It's the whole thing about technical alpha is like we, we know we've always needed something here, mm-hmm. but now you know we're seeing this problem out there in the wild. Yeah. We can go after it in a really targeted way, which is what's great about the program we're running. It's something that's in tone with the game and it fits with the game. It's not something that's just like a the an existing support structure like we have on the Xbox. It's not just report this player. I think we, we are working actually to change the game in a way to I think, to I think, it, I mean, I just, said about the customizations thing ultimately any mechanic that we put in the game there's first well yes as a mechanic like what are the nuts and bolts of how it works but then what's the opportunity about putting that unique sea of thieves spin on it and i think we've done that with so many mechanics in the game and it's all we always follow that thought process how can we put a fresh spin on it using what's unique about the social nature of the game I just realized i was accidentally doing the kind of like just listening yes. to mike mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah uh-huh yeah so <laughs> Yeah, it's one for Josh. <laughs> so yeah, again, if you haven't, have you been listening to us? You can obviously go and watch in the video and see all these lovely smiling faces. And uh, if you haven't uh, been listening to the audio and you want to catch up with the rest of it, uh, you can check out on any reputable um, podcast app. And just to let you know that this is obviously a regular video series, we try to get it out kind of monthly. It's uh, not quite on the four it's week structure, but ladies, then. yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's all on the shoulders. Uh, this has now become my new favourite podcast. I think <laughs> all the ones we put out, I know this one's going to be a killer. Yeah. It's just in the post E three one where everyone's a little bit loopy from being yeah. tired. I think even then we were more on the record though. I think yeah. we've gone a bit strange. So uh, <laughs> a bit strange. <laughs> Yeah. So remember to tune in for the for the next one. And thank you very much for listening. And obviously remember to sign up for that that uh, insider program <laughs> <laughs> that's insider yeah. oh, and we will uh, we'll see you soon awkward wave bye <laughs> metal camera <laughs> <laughs> sorry I'm blocking your face with my hand <laughs> I'm going to have to bleep jokes <laughs> <laughs>If you enjoyed what you just saw, then please like and subscribe to our channel and check out some more of our weekly videos. And if you're interested in the game's development, then click the link down here and join our Insider program for a chance to play the game early. So worry, I'll just wait here. <laughs>